As Russia continues to pound residential areas in Ukraine, Secretary of State Antony Blinken issued his starkest warning yet that the U.S. Congress must pass a budget that includes desperately needed military aid for Kyiv. It is vital that Congress pass the supplemental budget request the President's put before it. Uh, without it, simply put, everything that Ukrainians achieved and that we've helped them achieve will be in jeopardy. One expert told VOA that former president and Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump has significant sway over members of the Republican-led House of Representatives, who are holding up the budget over what they say are concerns over immigration and security at the U.S. southern border with Mexico. Former President Trump seems to be pretty much en route to being the Republican candidate his word on the Ukraine crisis starts to acquire greater weight, and his word on the Ukraine crisis is not to go forward, but uh, in, in, in some respects just to, to create obstacles for the Biden administration. At a campaign rally in Nevada on Saturday, Trump opposed Congress passing the budget. The so-called border security deal Biden is gushing out and pushing out is not designed to stop illegal immigration. It's designed to continue the invasion of America while sending billions of dollars to Ukraine and other countries. On Capitol Hill Tuesday, members of the Ukrainian House Caucus gathered to kick off Ukrainian Week 2024 with visiting Ukrainian soldiers, lawmakers, and officials. Several U.S. lawmakers expressed support for Kyiv, including one Republican, Representative Andy Harris of Maryland. Uh, the bottom line is this issue shouldn't be a Democrat or Republican issue. It shouldn't be a far right, far left issue. This is an issue that all Americans should agree with. And I welcome you here to Washington to prosecute the case. Democratic Representative Marcy Kaptur said U.S. military aid is needed now. Now is the moment for our nation and this Congress to reaffirm our commitment to a foreign policy that promotes liberty and liberty across our world. In Europe, several top leaders, including French President Emmanuel Macron, are also sounding the alarm of what a Russian victory over Ukraine would mean. So the costs, the real cost, on the short to long run of a Russian victory is too high for all of us. This is why the reasonable answer is to put ourselves in a situation to support Ukraine during this year and the years to come. whatever it takes, whatever it costs. Some experts say they believe Russian President Vladimir Putin is waiting to see the results of the November U.S. presidential election before changing course on Ukraine, hoping U.S. support would vanish under a Trump White House. Cindy Sane, VOA News.